Tony, when did you know that you were going to start uh, this last match? When did you figure that out? Uh, before the game. Uh, the last training session, we were kind of rotating, so I wasn't sure yet. And then right before the game, Jason told me that I was getting the start. What was your reaction to finding out you were going to start your first match this season? Uh, obviously excited. Um, I know it was an important game, and to be able to be on the field and try to help the team to win, I was very excited. Particularly at center back, such an integral position uh, with the way this club likes to play. Were there any nerves, any, any fear out there? Yeah, obviously, but I was more of, more of excited than, than really nervous. really wasn't thinking about things that I wasn't able to do, but just go and pose what I can do on the field. Can you just talk a little bit about like the next man up mentality for the fact that you did have to step in right away? Yeah, I mean, I think that's what the, the guys that really aren't playing are prepared for. And um, if injuries, people going international duty are just ready to step up. Personally, how do you feel that you did in that role? Uh, I, th I thought I did well. Um, like you guys said, it was my first time back there. And uh, um, I thought me and Schiller were, were good partnership back there. Unfortunately, we didn't get the win, but um, could take a lot of positives from the game. How relieving was it to kind of get that opportunity? Obviously, you had a lot of action last year with OCB. Obviously, they're not long in the picture now, but to, to get a, a, an opportunity with the first team like we saw last weekend, uh, mm -hmm. how beneficial was that for you? Um, I thought it was very beneficial. I mean, it was just one game, um, so I still have a lot of work to do and try to get in the starting lineup for this next weekend. So it's just coming out here and working every day at training and trying to get in the next 11. Where are you seeing where you need to improve right now? Um, organization, a lot of commu communication. I'm talking with CJ a lot, and he says I need to be more of a voice back there. And I think that's what we like from Spect Spectre not being there, but him being back on the field during training has kind of helped me kind of watch what he does out there, his positioning and stuff. So just learning from him. Have Has you it? been picking their brains at all? Because I know center back isn't normally the position that you're accustomed mm -hmm. to playing. Yeah, definitely. We have a lot of older guys in, in the back line with all the experience. Um, so I have a lot to learn from each and every one of them. Has it been difficult to stay match ready without OCB? Just you're, you've been loaned out, but has it been difficult to stay match ready? Um, not really. We have games that uh, we play on Sundays for the guys that don't play on Saturday, and so that's kind of kept us ready, um, especially with these stretch of games that are coming up. Um, there's going to be a lot of rotation, so I think everybody in the squad is going to be ready. And can you talk a little bit? I know there's been a lot of injuries that's been happening, especially at the center back position. Just how it's felt amongst that group for the fact that it's kind of been dwindling in numbers as of late. Yeah, I mean, obviously you don't want to see players get injured, but like you said, it's the next man up mentality. And, and we know whoever's playing back there is capable of getting the job done. So um, we're back forward no matter who's playing back there, and we try to get the clean sheet. Chris Schuler playing with a broken arm. Uh, did you know he was playing with a broken arm when you were alongside him? Um, I didn't until he came into the field with his arm wrapped. And, and uh, I remember one tackle in the second half, he kind of bumped shoulders with someone, and I could just see it in his face that he was just eating the pain. So I can only imagine the pain he was going through. Is it inspiring to watch a guy alongside you like that, just kind of swallow the pain and keep going? Yeah, I mean, I've never broken an arm, so I don't, I don't uh, know that pain. But, but I can tell that it was pretty painful. What's the, what's the mood going into this stretch of road games here? Um, but our focus is New York City. We're not really worried about Montreal or Vancouver, whoever we have next. Um, we're just trying to go out there and put out a good performance against New York City. What was uh, what have you kind of seen from uh, New York in terms of their uh, their attack right now? Um, just that they're very good at attack. They have a lot of, a lot of numbers up top that can uh, really be dangerous. Our focus is the the players up top, how we can kind of um, control the game both on, offensively and defensively. What was your experience like in uh, St. Louis? I know it was a while back, but you know, reuniting with Anthony and uh, everything like that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was it was easier to kind of, uh, I guess, go on one day before training and play because I knew Ann as a coach and I felt comfortable with him. And a couple of the players played on the CB last year, so kind of felt familiar with them. So it was easier to go on there and get a good couple of 90 minutes.